welcome to the online computer class i am preeti kumar today we are going to start a new chapter computer viruses so before we start let us observe 2 minute silence to pray for the peace within and outside and also pray for everyone's well being let's get started as you know children we are going to start a new chapter computer viruses lesson 3 learning in this chapter we will learn about virus and its types virus symptoms and how it spreads sweeper malware computer worms trojan horse spyware steps to prevent virus antivirus importance of regular updates using an antivirus software so today first we will cover the topic virus and its types and also virus symptoms introduction computer and data have become the lifeline of every organization many times while working on a computer it gets hanged restarts frequently and sometimes data gets lost we call it a virus attack in reality it is not only the virus but sorry that does it but worms trojans spyware etc are also equally responsible for improper functioning of a computer a common mistake which people make while discussing about a computer virus is to refer a computer worm or trojan horse as a virus trojan worm and virus are often used interchangeable but they are not exactly the same viruses worms and trojan horses are all malicious program that can cause damage to a computer but these programs have certain differences knowing these differences can help us to protect our computer from their damaging effects virus a virus computer virus is a program or a set of programs that disturbs disrupts the normal functioning of a computer a virus infects or destroys the data it enters a computer without the permission or knowledge of the compute of the user the full form of virus is vital information resources under seas the essential resources of a computer like memory processing speed data and programs are hampered when a virus spreads into the system almost all viruses are attached to an executable file which means that if virus exists on a computer it will not infect computer unless you run or open the malicious program so in this series we will see how many types of viruses affects the computer so the first is boot sector virus this type of virus infects the boot sector of hard drive a disk or a hard drive comprises of a smaller section 
known as sectors. The first sector is called boot sector. It carries the master boot record which is responsible for reading and loading the operating system. Boot sector virus becomes active at the time of booting the machine. Examples are disk killer, stone viruses, program file virus. This virus infects the executable files or programs such as those with extension like COM, AXE, OVL, DRV, SYS, SYS. These programs get loaded in the memory during execution. The virus becomes active in the memory by replicating itself and infecting files on the disk. Multipartite viruses. The multipartite viruses is a hybrid of a boot sector and program file virus. The virus gets entry into the computer system through some infected media and then resides inside the computer memory. After that, this virus moves into the hard drive, infects the boot sector and starts in fix the boot sector and starts spreading itself in system by infecting the executable files. Macrovirus. This virus infects the files which are created using such application software that support macros such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, a macro is a series of programming steps that allows automation of many actions with a single keystroke. When the infected document is opened, the macro virus gets loaded into the main memory. Once a macro gets active, your computer, every document you produce will become infected. Virus symptoms. Computer starts doing thing on its own like moving the cursor all by itself, randomly opening and closing the windows etc. Computer may shut down and restart frequently. Malfunctioning may be noticed in several applications. Certain drives on the computer become inaccessible. Unexpected error messages pop up. Menus and dialog boxes may appear distorted. Speed of computer drops. So this is for today. So children, Kindly go through with all these points and try to understand the different type of viruses and how do you get to know how your computer is infected or uh, it is safe from virus. So thank you.